Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The terminally guided munitions of 155mm artillery gun has capability to hit a target with high precision and lesser collateral damage than regular munitions. As the name suggests, these munitions are guided at the terminal or last stage while very close to target for strike with pinpoint accuracy. These munitions typically use radio signals from GPS, laser guidance, and inertial navigation using gyroscope to improve the weapon's accuracy to less than 3 meters or approximately 10 feet. The TGM usually have a seeker to capture the reflected or emitted energy of a target which has been illuminated by external laser designator and this laser could be eliminated from a ground or aerial platform such as UAVs and helicopters. So the proliferation of anti-access area denial system is likely to increase the operational utility of these kind of precision guided munitions. In particular, the peer competitors or adversaries like China and Pakistan have developed sophisticated air defenses that can increase the risk to end forces entering and operating in these regions. Using advanced guidance systems, PGMs can be launched at longer range to attack an enemy without risking the armed forces on the ground. Now the guided 125M artillery shells are quite effective as we discussed and Indian Army has to export this from foreign countries. Between 1992 and 2002, Indian Army has procured close to 3000 Russian laser guided artillery shell meant to be used with 155mm Bofors gun but the performance of Russian guided artillery was suboptimal particularly in the high altitude area. Again in 2019. The Army had inducted Excalibur artillery ammunition from United States for its 155mm howitzers. The 155mm terminally guided munitions or TGM is the most advanced artillery ammunition and its technology was denied to India in the past. However, the growing impetus on self-reliance India has moved much ahead in this domain and India will be very soon become the manufacturing hub for advanced 155 artillery guns, be it guided or unguided for all types of 155 mm artilleries, which is operated worldwide. And a major step has been already taken by government in this regard. On 4th November 2022, the project sanction order has been issued to six development agencies for developing 155 mm TGM under Make 2 scheme. And these agencies are Munitions India Limited, Adani Defense Systems and Technologies, Bharat Forge Limited, Economic Explosive Limited, Premier Explosive, and SMPP Limited. On 5th February 2024, IIT Madras has informed via social media platform X that it has partnered with Munition India Limited to develop India's first indigenously designed 155 smart ammunition. The objective of this is to increase the accuracy of 155mm shell with a circular error probability of 10 meters. The 155mm artillery shell will be guided by ISRO's NAVIC satellites. It will offer 50 times more accuracy and range between 8 to 38 kilometers. It can be used with existing guns without any changes. The ammunition will be fin stabilized canard controlled guided shell. The rollout is expected in next two years. Now let's also try to understand what is the origin of all this requirement and uh, what is Indian Army expecting from TGM. The whole story started back in December 2021 when Indian Army had issued an expression of interest for procurement of 1966 rounds of 155 mm terminally guided munitions. The procurement is planned in two phases. In phase one, it's going to be prototype development in which 25 rounds of TGM along with four fire control systems are to be sought. So the six private firms who have received the PSO, that is project sanction order will be developing these 25 TGM rounds and FCS which will undergo trial with the Indian Army. Now in phase 2 of the program, 1966 rounds of TGM will be delivered at a rate of 197 TGM per year for next 10 years. 
It also includes 170 fire control system, 87 projectile simulator and 87 sectionized projectile. These munitions are going to be fired from 155mm artillery guns of Indian Army using more than one technique for guidance with minimum human interference and the munition should be compatible with all in-service 155mm gun of 39 caliber, 45 caliber and 52 caliber gun system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.